Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I am going to explain you about the activity ratio in the subject of managerial economics and financial analysis. Till now, we have learned about what profitability ratios are and what liquidity ratios are in my previous video. I have also uh, already explained about what ratio analysis and what are the different types of ratios we have. Okay, we actually have total of five types of ratios, and this is the third type that we are discussing. Okay, activity ratio is also called as turnover ratio. Both of them mean same. Okay, and what this activity ratios does, they will show us the stability and efficiency of using company's assets. A company will have assets, right? We we will be using those assets in order to make uh, you know finished goods or in order to make profits we will be using those assets right so it will show stability and efficiency how efficiently we are using how stable how stably uh, we are using the assets that will be known to us with the help of this activity or turnover ratios okay in this we have four types of ratios right so let us see about each and everything now first is the inventory turnover ratio so the first type is inventory turnover ratio so inventory you know what inventory is not right inventory is nothing but it's stock right so inventory is nothing but stock so that you get it by cost of goods sold or simply you can say sales divided by average inventory okay so cost of cost of goods sold divided by average inventory if you do you will be getting the inventory turnover ratio and how do you get cost of goods sold net sales minus gross profit the net sales value minus gross profit value if you do you will be getting the cost of the goods sold okay and that divided by average inventory so what do you mean by average inventory opening stock plus closing stock by 2 so if you do opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2 you will get average inventory inventory is nothing but what stock I'm again i'm telling inventory is nothing but stock don't get confused okay right now once you are done with calculating this inventory turnover ratio then you need to calculate the stock turnover period okay so after uh, just by calculating here you should not stop you should also calculate the stock turnover period how do you calculate the stock turnover period what is stock turn turnover period actually after what period after how much time you will get back your stock okay after how much time after a uh, what period of time you will get back your stock is nothing but the stock turnover period okay and how do you get it 365 divided by inventory turnover ratio here you got inventory turnover ratio right 365 day is nothing but what 365 days divided by inventory turnover ratio if you do you will get the stock turnover period and what do you mean by stock turnover period how much time it takes to get back the stock okay so this is about the inventory turnover ratio right so in this as i said we have four types of ratio let us see what is the second type of ratio that we have debtors turnover ratio what do you mean by debtors who are called as debtors to whom you are selling the goods based on credit uh, based on credit basis to the, the persons to whom the people to whom you are selling your goods based on credit basis what do you mean by credit basis when you sell the goods then and there itself they will not give you money after few days they will be giving you money maybe in installments or like that okay so based on credit basis to whom you are selling your goods they are called as the debtors okay and debtors turnover ratio is equal to credit sales by average debtors okay credit sales divided by average debtors and how do you get average debtors opening debtor plus closing debtor divided by two if you do you will be getting the average debtors and that you need to substitute here then what you will get you will get the debtors turnover ratio right so once you got the debtors turnover ratio you need to calculate the average collection period okay so average collection period will you will be getting it by 365 divided by debtors turnover ratio what is this 365 again days and debtors turnover ratio here you got it right so that is how you need to find out the average collection period okay done so we have two more let us see them and the third type of ratio we are having is creditors turnover ratio and how may how, how like sorry how do you define this creditor turnover ratio credit purchases divided by average creditors actually first what do you mean by the word creditors creditors are nothing but from whom we people are buying 
the goods on credit basis what do you mean by debtors to whom you are selling what do you mean by creditors from whom you are buying the goods based on credit basis they will come under creditors okay and creditors turnover ratio how do you find it out credit purchases divided by average creditors okay there in case of debtors you have done credit sales right so here you are using credit purchases credit purchases divided by average creditors so how do you get the average creditors opening creditors plus closing creditors divided by 2 if you do you will be getting the average creditors okay done so once you got the creditors turnover ratio then what you have to do is you need to find out the creditors payment period so what do you mean by creditors payment period how much time it will take to get back the payment okay or for doing the payment or getting back the payment how much time it will take simply you can take it is a measure of time okay so that you will be getting it by 365 divided by creditor turnover ratio creditor turnover ratio you will be getting it here right so that you need to substitute here you will be getting the creditors payment period okay so 365 by creditors turnover ratio if you do you will be getting the creditors payment period done so after this this is the third type and after this we have the fourth and the last type that is the asset turnover ratio okay so in this asset turnover ratio we again have two types the one is fixed working capital fixed asset turnover ratio and the second one is working capital asset turnover ratio okay two fixed asset turnover ratio and working capital turnover ratio so how do you get fixed asset turnover ratio net sales divided by fixed assets okay you know what net sales are total sales divided by the fixed assets of the company okay then you will be getting the fixed asset turnover ratio as i said you have two types the first one is fixed asset and the second one is working capital turnover ratio how do you get working capital turnover ratio again same the numerator will be same net sales divided by average working capital you should do okay so working capital turnover ratio is equal to net sales divided by average working capital okay and average working capital will be equal to working capital divided by 2 whatever the working capital you are getting that divided by 2 you need to do in order to get the average working capital and you need to substitute this average working capital here in order to get the working capital turnover ratio okay so that's all for this video you, we have total of four types of ratios in activity ratio activity ratios are also called as turnover ratios these ratios are mainly used for measuring the stability and efficiency of the company's assets okay here we have four types of ratios inventory turnover ratio debtors turnover ratio creditors turnover ratio and asset turnover ratio okay fine so that's all for this video i hope this video is useful for you if yes hit the like button and also share it with your friends and if you're still having any doubts apart from whatever i've explained in the video you can let me know that in the comment section i'll definitely try to answer all your doubts for sure and if you're having if you want me to explain any other topics or any other subjects just let me know that in the comment section and also comment down the exam uh, comment down your exam date so that i can make videos more quickly and that's all let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel for more and more such videos